I'm going to make an easy peasy Victoria sponge cake. So in trusty Doris, I've got 225 grams of butter and I'm going to add four eggs. Now this is a Murray Berry recipe, good old Murray Berry. And it's so easy to make this. You can fill it with strawberry jam, homemade, and then sprinkle caster sugar over the top. So there's my eggs in with my butter. I've got 225 grams of caster sugar and 225 grams of self-raising flour. And then I'm adding two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to mix the soap in Trusty Doris for a couple of minutes. There we go. So I've mixed my cake mix up in my Trusty Doris for a couple of minutes. And I've greased and just lined the bottom of two cake tins. So I'm going to equally divide the cake mixture into each into each tin. Now if you want to be really perfect you can measure weigh each tin to make sure that there's enough mixture in both tins. I sometimes do so that they've got equal amounts in. Now I'm going to cook these in the in the oven on 180 normal. If it's a fan oven, it's 160 for about 25 minutes. Now the key to a, a, a good cake is you never open the oven door. Even though it's tempting, you should leave it for the 25 minutes and then open the door. If you open the door too soon, your cake won't, your cake will flop in the middle. So there's my cakes ready for going in the oven. Victoria sponge. So my cakes have had about 25 minutes in the oven. So I'm going to have a look, see if they're ready. Ooh. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, go put some jam in the middle of these when they've gone cold. So my cakes have cooled down now. So I've got some homemade strawberry jam. I'm going to put this in the middle. Smother it. With the jam. Can't beat homemade jam. Put the top on it and I'm going to sprinkle some caster sugar over the top. There you have Victoria sponge. Looking forward to this with a piece, big piece with a cup of tea.